Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. What I plan to do today is talk about basic um, techniques on a chainsaw. Just a bottom of the barrel basic chainsaw techniques. All right, let's get to it. So I'll just go over a couple of the safety features. You have a chain brake here, and this is meant to stop the chain from moving. Um, when you start it, it's good to have it um, engaged. Um, so when you start, it's not spinning. Also, you got a interlock throttle right here, a throttle interlock, and then here's your throttle. If, if this is not pressed down, it, it shouldn't um, work. Uh, when you're, and you got a, a hand guard here. When you're using a chainsaw, you should hold with your left hand the upper um, handle and with your right hand the lower handle. Um, just important to know. So next we'll go over to the log and I'll explain a little bit of how the chain operates. The chainsaw chain, when it's, when it's operating, it moves the top of the chain goes in that direction and the bottom comes in this direction. So when you're making your cuts, this area right here is the sweet spot. It's the best part of, uh, of cutting. So when you drop your chain onto a log, then it's gonna pull you toward the log. That's important to know. Um, these spikes right here are meant to capture the log so you can, um, when you, when you hit, hit the spikes, now you can move your chain in this direction, and then you can use the weight of the saw to make another cut, and then you just follow it through in this direction. So that's using the bottom of the chain. When you're using the top of the chain, the chain is gonna push back towards you. So it's important for you, if you're gonna do that, that you brace yourself. You still wanna have your, your left hand on top, your right hand on the bottom. So when you're gonna do a cut like that, you wanna make sure either you got your arm or you brace it against your leg. And when you're doing it, once you hit, this chain's gonna come back towards you. That's, that's important to keep uh, braced. And uh, yeah, so now what I'll do is I'll start the saw up and we'll, uh, we'll do the cuts. Before I start the saw, it's, I just wanna give you a real quick uh, PPE that you should have if you're using a chainsaw. Chaps are required, um, especially in America. I'm not sure about every other country, but I know in America it's required if you're doing ground operations. And earplugs, also some safety glasses and a helmet. Helmets, just in case if they ever get a kickback, a helmet can help. Um, so here we go, I'll start and then I'll make the cuts. Another point I wanted to make, um, when you're cutting with a chainsaw, you know, some people will tend to look down the bar. Um, that's the worst thing you can do with the chainsaw um, because um, the kickback. So we talked about what kickback was with this section of the bar. When it's spinning at high rate of speed, if it hits a chunk of wood or something, it could kick back at you. So when you are making your cut, you don't want to be like this. More, you want to have a, a squared stance. You want to put your left hand on the top handle, your right hand on the bottom handle. And when you're making your cut, you want to be off to one side. That way, if you're doing this, you get a kickback, you can either hold it, you could maybe hit your, um, your brake, or if it, it'll pass you up. You can do something, instead of being directly over it, where the, you are in line with the chain. Something's real important. Now I'm gonna start the saw 
And uh, the first um, way I, method I started, I had it on the ground and I pulled it from here. There's another one called the knee method where you just hold it, you turn it on and you pull your cord. cut we made was about um, waist high and so you know when you're when you're standing everything's at, at this level and it's it's pretty you know everything's solid it's good to do it in that way um, a thing I want to let you know is that when you're using a chainsaw you shouldn't be cutting above your shoulder height because um, it a few reasons you get tired um, you don't have good leverage um, there's more um, chances of you getting hurt um, what I do want to talk about is when a uh, a log is on the ground. Uh, put a plywood down so I don't bottom my chain out onto the the, uh, the concrete. Uh, it's all different because you're gonna what what tends to happen is when you're cutting, some people will bend, and now instead of you know you could bend and still be at this this angle here where your shoulders are straight um, at what you're cutting. If you if you don't and you have your body in this angle it brings your head back in line with the chain. That's, that's not a good situation. Um, what you'd wanna do is be in this, this type of an angle. And if it's a low log, it's good to take it down to one knee. Um, putting this, this knee, the one behind by your, your right side, your right knee down, having this one up and your left hand's holding, you got some bracing going on here. Then you do your cut, same way. You, you nose down and bottom out. And then when you get into the bottom, you don't want to have your tip down. You want to try to bottom out with your chain resting on the ground. Okay, so I'll start the chain and we'll see what we can do. Another thing that you can do if you're cutting logs that are on the ground and say they're not super huge, um, you know, the more, the more that you cut from the top to the bottom, there's a chance that you're going to put your, um, your chain into the ground. And even here, when I was cutting, there's a little spot right here where I, I nicked the board. And if that was dirt, a uh, good chance that my chain would be dull. So what you can do if you have big logs, I mean, long, but not really super thick, um, you can make some topping cuts. You know, you go down your log, you start at the top, you go most of the way down, and then you go and do some, some sections of that. And then, then uh, you'll put your brake on, you can roll your log, and then you can use the top of the bar to finish the cut. Using the top of the bar, um, if you cut enough, you just leave a little, a little section, you put enough of your bar inside the log, it's not gonna kick back at you, and then you can finish your cut without worrying about hitting your bar into the ground. So uh, that's what I'll do next. <laughs> Yeah. 
doing it in that way where you roll the log, it can really save your, your chain from getting dug into the ground if the log's not too large. Well, there you have it. A few beginning tips on a chain operating a chainsaw. Um, some of what we talked about was the chain break, uh, the forces that the chain has, whether it's uh, pulling you or pushing you. Also, not to look down your chain and be off to one side. Having good body mechanics where you have a good st uh, st uh, steady frame and squaring your shoulders up to your cut and not looking over. Definitely want to say that again. Also, when you're starting a chainsaw, there's the two methods. When you have it on the ground, your foot's on the handle and you pull the cord or you have the knee lock method. There's also something that people do is a drop, dropping the saw. That's really not a good thing to do. It's always better to be braced um, with those other two methods. Well, remember, if you're doing something um, new in tree care, be safe. You don't want to get hurt. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. Take care. We'll see you next time.